a lot of great damage, having a lot of access to great tools, but suffering a lot, being the lightest character in the game. Well, let's go ahead and see as Char, I'm sorry, Eon, <laughs> go ahead and rock out the Fox here against Ketchup Ludwig. Yeah, we're going to be seeing uh, quite, a, quite a bit of uh, aerial gameplay from Eon here. He's going to be trying to keep Ketchup in the air, but Ketchup is doing Eon's job for him, saying, stay above me, stay away from me with these forward smashes on his shield. And you got to also watch out when he hits your shield with... Uh, with, uh, with a cart. Uh, oh, wow. I thought he, he pineapple himself. He can spin out. So, watch out for the spin out. It is extra damage onto your shield. Good mix up from Ketchup, too, because the first time he met him there, he went for the spin out. The second time, he looked for the cross up. Yeah. Ketchup looking to use those tools a little differently each with each meeting. Yeah, and throws out the Mecha Koopa. Oh, yeah. Think about the Mecha Koopa is if you shield it, it actually just dies. Yeah. So, it, it's ineffective against your shield. Oh, There's that's a down re smash. down smash. Gonna be a tough angle for Ketchup to recover, but he's able to use that Koopa Kai. Eon going for a second down smash, not able to land it. All right, Ketchup trying to go in with the Nair, but he gets punished off the up tilt with the up air. Ketchup trying to come back here, using the Mecha Koopa around him to cover him on his spin out, but it's not gonna work. Eon just hanging back, hanging on and set the stage. All right, just spin out. Those I like it. Save this jump, man. We save our jumps in 2019. In that situation, Eon had the jump save just in the nick of time to dodge the cannonball. Yeah, especially in a game where there's virtually no magnet hands. You gotta make sure you have that jump ready to get some extra height. And very nice up smash to cover Ketchup's jump there. He has him on the ledge still, but uh, apparently Cart has super armor on the side dude. Yeah. Yes, yes, it did in Smash 4 too. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, my bad. Back throw, not enough to kill just yet. Fox may be light, but he's not going to be dying that early from mid stage. Watch out for jab, just got to hold on to it. If that All last right, jab good. hits you, it can kill you. Good dash attack out of shield. Goes for the next safe play. I like the patience for Mion. Picking and choosing how his opponent will make the next option. Mion holds a lot of advantage there, but he finally catch up, able to get the stock out of the hands. All right, going to go in with a dash attack. That shield looking. Uh, getting mid health right there. And Ketchup is is able to return to center stage. Looks like he wants to play the neutral a little bit more, but Eon continues to push him out and get that stock for the up smash. Excellent tech chase for Eon. Literally two stocks up against Ketchup being one. Being on a deficit of Bowser Jr. is still pretty suffering. Two forward is here and controlling to the upper. Eon not gonna give Ketchup the opportunity to breathe here as he wants to play the oppressive game. Hey, Fortnite kind of uh, kind of looks mad sick in this game, actually. Yeah. It, it looks it, visually and even like by sounds, it yeah. looks much better. Of course, people, some Fox mains will miss, you know, fast fall forward air into drop right there, but that's not going to be missed at all from the up smash. You know who doesn't miss uh, fast fall forward air? Because he can still optimize fast fall forward air? Eon. Yeah. Last, um, believe it was at Fat. He was still, he was still optimizing fast fall forward air. He actually fast fell and then. If you don't take the fast fall forward air, he still gets a jab lock. Kind of yeah. like he did in Smash 4, but he can still extend it because he can jab, jab, then he get down tilt, then he still leads into like another fast fall. And that's just the loop he, he's been trying out every time he goes fall. Yeah. But no loops here. We're going back into uh, into the game with Fox and Ludwig into Smash 4 here. Going to be hazards off, so the stage is going to have its platform in the middle instead of rotating around the stage. All right, there's the side B. Ketchup looking to get some advantage here on the stage. That Koopa, yeah, I'm sorry, that Mech Koopa coming back just to save him here. But Eon in the right direction, facing him with a down throw. And unfortunately for Ketchup, going to suffer a lot from that air dodge, but he's still able to make the recovery here. Yeah, you also have to remember that... Uh, when Ketchup uses his uh, side B, uh, it actually gives him an extra jump if he jumps out before the spin out. Ketchup always says use um, use your double jump before you use the side B, so that way you have three jumps in the uh, well, two extra in, in jumps. Theory, in the yeah, end. third jump. Tries to get the forward air into forward smash. Oh, Does not like fall it. for the up smash that time. That's something that Eon's been catching people with. Um, because a lot of people like to tech out, and since you can't uh, run past each other, uh, he just runs into them and charges that up smash. Yeah, Eon kind of picking a little bit carefully here. He knows he has Ketchup at death percent, but he wants to not sacrifice too much. He knows the minute Ketchup gets a, gets a hit here, he's going to look for a confirm. Looking to establish control on the stage with the Mecha Koopa and runs in with a trip of the cart. 
I That's what I'm telling you, and he knows if I give him too much, he's gonna take it all the way to the bank, but Eon immediately with the equalizer. Yeah, Eon just trying to take away all the momentum that Ketchup had there and was able to successfully take his stock, but he's back on the ledge here and finally gets around it just at what I'm talking about there. Got the forward air jab lock. It is still going on into this whole combo. Already he's putting Ketchup at a hefty 82%. All right, gonna side lead the stage. Catch up, gonna go with double up air just to save damage. And Eon actually running into that forward smash, gonna kill him at 70. Right there at the ledge, man. I mean, that's being cool. That's what happens when you too close to the ledge. And Catch up looking to continue this lead here, bringing Eon all the way to the ledge. Eon looking for an opportunity to get the equalizer here. Catch up with the cross up with the side B. I like the fact that Eon just trying to play stay, still stay place. He knows. If I get frustrated and if I get tunnel vision, I will lose this match. But catch up immediately looking to get back into the game here and try to put a point on the board. Like it, closing the distance with the next Koopa. Eon gets the grab here. All right, lands with the dare there, just forcing Eon back to the ledge. Catch up looking for another card there. Oh, and he, I thought he had enough to just have him die there. Because if you light hit uh, the Koopalings while they're upping, uh, there's a high chance that they're not gonna get their Koopa, uh, their Mecha card back. Koopa card, yeah, Koopa card. Gonna throw out a Cannonball, try to cover all options there, but too, commits too hard to the jab, loses his stock there. He's trying to get the stock a little bit too much, so he's gonna try and, it, it'd be good if he tries and slows down this game so that uh, Eon's momentum also slows down with it. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Up to looking to set up the champ combo there. Unable to find it, there's the back air. Eon gonna get hit by the forward air and still living Ketchup, facing him with another cannonball. And Gray set up from Ketchup from one comeback, able to take from an inch to a mile. Ketchup yeah. with amazing play, showing off why he was able to get here in winner's top 64. And we're able to see um, Ketchup successfully slowing down the game at the last moment, setting up what he needs to force Eon to jump, to take that jump before he lands on the floor, then continuing to set up because he knows that Eon has to come back. Yeah. If Eon doesn't try to come back from where he was, he wasn't making it back at all. And that was very good awareness from Ketchup there. We're going into it with another Fox loop with match into Kalos here. And I believe Kalos has a larger top blast zone. So it's gonna be yeah. a little bit harder for Eon to kill. The with ceiling up smash. is a lot, a lot larger here in uh, Kalos. Okay, well, game three. This is the decided here. One opponent will move on to set point, and the other will have to play a little bit more from behind. And Eon starting off tremendously well here. Sixty percent on catchup. Solid nair on the edge here. Gets the up tilt to forward air. Gets the landing air. Another dash attack to up air. This pressure is still going, and Ketchup finally relieves it for a bit, but Eon is not letting up. He's still going with this combo, going with this pressure, and now he's holding holding center stage, keeping his back to center stage, just making sure that Ketchup's always at ledge, oh, and no. he... Oh, he side -bees the wrong way. He's not able to jump out of it. I kind of like it from Eon, though. He sees he has a pretty solid lead here, so he doesn't want to essentially get hit by the invincibility that Ketchup gets when coming back from the Angel platform. Yeah, he just goes to the other side uh, of the stage to retreat. That was a very good call from uh, Eon there. Because you know when you have the lead, you feel the need to be aggressive. You feel, yep. you feel the need to continue the lead as much as possible. But that was good on Eon. That's the momentum you get from having the lead, especially getting on working on great confirms here. Eon calls for an empty hop. I like that he's playing a little bit defensive here. Gotta watch out for that forward air. It is a big disjoint for Bowser Jr. Dash attack out of shield into up air. Another up air. Yon making great plays here. Trying to go the extra mile with the lead. Yeah, he knows that Ketchup wants to land with fair or dare, and he's not letting him. He's throwing out the fastest options he can before Ketchup can get his out. It's a fox angle here. Ketchup looking to get away here with the Koopa card, trying to set up a back air. Just goes a little bit far on it, too. Up tilt to up air, excellent safe play from Eon. I mean, we saw what Ketchup could do with the lead here, but now we're seeing what Eon can do with the lead, right? He's definitely up three stocks against Ketchup. Having this frustrating situation against Ketchup, it's pretty tough for Ketchup, honestly, to get, a, get an opportunity here. 
the forward air, and he oh sets up the up air. Great play. I, I low-key thought he was going to do like a reflector to turn himself around, then jump back air. I, yeah. I really thought he was just going to go for that. He, he could have, but decided not to catch up. Still, still in this game, he still can bring us back, but this is a mountain. Tries to get with a down tilt on the two frame there. Not able to get it, but still gets it with an up tilt, no back air afterwards. Catch up stalling this time there at the ledge. Yon letting him cross up the shield there, but trying to keep it safe here. Up tilt to up air, dash attack, and you find opportunity here with an air where you let's wow. catch up and come back to the stage. Catch up again, trying to hold center stage here, but still needs to get this Eon stock, although he. He is not at kill percent just yet. Gonna use the Mecha Koopa against Ketchup here. And Ketchup needs to recover low once more. Nice. And they're gonna take that. Ketchup again fighting for center stage here. Sets up Mecha Koopa. Nares to beat out Eon's back air. That was very nice coverage from Ketchup. Ketchup looking for the making the runnings of a comeback here. Having Eon off stage and the Cannonball stopping the side B. Ketchup on 148%. If he can just win neutral a few times here, this could spell the comeback for Ketchup. Nice, gets the pivot grab here. Tries to set up a few up airs, stopping Eon from landing here. Eon's wasted a lot of effort just trying to get the stock away from Ketchup. I want to see him pull a little bit more of a riskier option just to try to get something out of Ketchup. And Ketchup's been doing really well like using his disjoints a little bit better this time. He's knowing very well that if he messes up here, this is this could be his tournament life in uh, in winners. Good shield pressure coming up from Eon. And he's able Whoa. to finally go for it. The up smash 2-1, leading up in Eon's favor. I kind of want to say if Eon gets the opportunity with a breather here, making the switch to Pichu might be the call for him. Yeah, and that was a really good call. Just like you, like, like you said, knowing that there's quite a bit of end lag, after throwing out the Mecha Koopa, so running in before the Mecha Koopa became active and throwing out up Smash was a really good call for Neon. And we're going to go into it on Smash Bros. once more with Ludwig yeah. and Fox. Game four. Eon takes a deep breath of relief here. This is Eon's opportunity to continue on the winner's side, but it's also Ketchup's opportunity to finally get himself a chance at game five. And a great startup for Ketchup here with Dash Dashtack and Mecha Koopa. Just keeping himself under the platform there, so it's a, a little bit harder for Eon to fall on top of him. Very nice reflector, but not, uh, to no avail. Ketchup just covering it with a fair. And Eon answering back with a few up tilts of his own. Nice, there's a full jab. Eon finds himself in the lead here. All right. All right, using his jumps to get around. A lot of Ketchup's opportunity here. What it seems to be falling out here for Eon is Eon has a game plan, but the way that Ketchup has been playing, it seems to be stopping Eon's game plan. And look at that situation. Eon wants to get those up tilts to up airs, but Ketchup just holding shield and getting the punish afterwards stops Eon from getting his game plan. Yeah, and one of the things that Ketchup is uh, very vigilant at is actually getting the parries on quite a few of Eon's uh, punish games. And we've been seeing it work out whenever he gets the parries. And oh, just a little bit mistimed on the parry there, thinking that Eon would let go of the rapid jab. Very nice, just using his uh, invincibility onto the very end and using the invincibility on the normal getup to go past all that forward smash uh, hitbox. Okay, catch up, kind of weaving and dodging here, looking for an opportunity to get this comeback against. Eon, he even goes for the full slide there from the side B, having advantage. I like the fact that Eon just pulls back this time instead of going for the side B. He knows what happens to catch up with a few back airs, relentlessly trying to bring this game five situation. Once more, Eon trying to strike out with a back air here. He's almost gets it, but Nair just enough to beat him out there. Goes, lands with a dare, gets the landing hitbox, and covers with a forward smash. That was yeah. very good awareness from catch up. Down tilt, not gonna connect. No licky licky today. Okay, Eon playing a little bit safe here. Trying to avoid that side beat that we've been seeing catch up go for at the ledge. There's the back air. Read on the on the get up option against Ketchup. Alright, Eon looking to starting to slowly feel himself back in the momentum in his hands. Dash attack, sets up the champ. Dash attack to up tilt, but no up air. I like it. Eon just trying to go for the simple plan here. Get the percent, look for the confirms later. All right, very nice. Gonna go with the up air into forward air. Didn't know that actually connected, but 
Eon still keeping up the pressure on center stage, gets with the back air and holds the ledge. Very nice, just weaving in and out, out of Ketchup's range. And that's something that uh, Fox is really good at, even in, uh, even in his past iterations, weaving in and out against his opponents, using his mobility and his strong hitbox to pressure people into shield so he can get a tomahawk grab or just push them off stage. Good use of the reflector, sending the mech to the back of Ketchup, giving Eon the opportunity to get that edge guard there. Alright, gonna go with the Mecha Koopa throw, no avail there. Ketchup with the forward air, pushing Eon back off stage. Alright, Eon looking to reset himself to the other side. He doesn't like how Ketchup is setting up for it. Gets the Ob Smash, finally finding a lead here against Ketchup, and Ketchup back on the prowl, using that invincibility to its advantage there. Gets the side beat, keeps Eon off the stage. And I like it. Eon this time elected to go a little bit lower. Yeah, just doing his very best to not get clipped by Ketchup. And Ketchup here, gotta watch out. Eon not oh. gonna tech that. It was still techable, it yeah. was the green splat. Uh, seemed like he wasn't expecting to actually get hit by that fair and died for it. Tries to cover the ledge with the forward smash, but he's a little bit too far for downward tilt to hit it. Now Ketchup with the possible opportunity to get a comeback in his hands. He's definitely doing a lot to win neutral here. Gets the grab here. He's going to go for the fourth throw. Goes for the pummel for extra percent. Eon in a little bit of a tough spot here. That's actually really cool, too, because it looked like Ketchup wasn't uh, actually looking for a throw. Looked like he was just waiting for Eon to mash out so he could get that jab that he got right afterwards, and it worked out for him. Got some extra percent onto Eon, and now, uh, while he's on ledge, they're quite... Uh, they're at pretty, pretty even percents. Yeah. I haven't seen Eon just try to time himself up for a parry. It's usually been the shield standout that we've been seeing between both players because they don't want to make the commitment or the mistake of trying to accidentally read the wrong move here. Yeah, and we have to remember see, the the shield stand up. We haven't seen much. Ooh. The side B hits the shield there. Catch up with the back throw. Now the edge, now the edge got opportunity. Eon's looking for the opportunity to survive. Dash attack. Eon's still able to live here. Oh, got such a full jab out. He's gonna have to let go. Ketchup going back to center stage. He has to fight Eon 1-1 one, one again. And I'll Eon's trying to hold center stage, but they're moving back and forth just to avoid getting hit by a straight hit. And Lucy Sienna just going forward air, keeps him off stage. Another forward air oh, into another, another one. And Ketchup clutches out game five against Eon. You can see the frustration in his eyes. He is tired of having to fight this game plan that Ketchup has been setting for. And that's what it comes down to. Ketchup wants Eon to start holding shield, to time him out, to tire him out. You can see that there's now frustration in, the, in, in Eon's mind. Things are a little bit different now that Ketchup has momentum in the game five. Yeah, this is quite literally the fight of attrition now. Eon mm -hmm. gets his momentum, but then Ketchup starts slowing it down to the point where Eon's starting to fish for stuff. For when Eon is trying is getting very desperate to try and take that stock. And Ketchup yeah. is noticing this, still playing back, and uh, while he is getting hit while he's trying to set up, he's still trying to do it as safely as possible. Looks like we're gonna go to Kalos here with the high ceiling. Eon gonna stay tried and shoot to the box here. This is game five for Eon and Ketchup. It's do or die for both players. They won't be out of the tournament, but the loser's bracket will be definitely one that'll have to be run, and I know none of them wanna dip down to it. All right, All right. going into it, he has Mecha Koopa. Gets hit out of his hand, actually, by the forward air for Ketchup. I like it, Eon starting off a little bit more aggressive in game five, not giving Ketchup the opportunity to start st establishing control. Up tilt up air, not gonna connect, but gets the forward air after the dash tag. All right, very nice game to up air after the dash tag. Still keeping Ketchup above him. Not really much uh, Ketchup has done to Eon in this current stock. In this situation, Eon looks like he's been holding back a little bit, keeping center stage, just forcing Ketchup back to the ledge whenever, whenever he can. All right, Ketchup looking for a lead here. A couple back airs, putting Eon to the ledge. Eon able to move himself back to center stage. All right, stalling off on the side. That was very good, using his side beat to bounce off the side. Throws him off stage. It's the off stage plays that Ed Ketchup has been going for, right? These edge guards. Each time that Eon tries to come back, he places himself a little bit percent. Misses the off smash, and Ketchup able to get the tech roll. Okay, just landing with hammer hits, but lands with lag. Going into the Koopa cart right there, just causing him to get hit by that up smash right afterwards. Throws out the Mecha Koopa, but no, reflected back. 
bit of a risky down air coming out from Eon. Catchable is easily able to space himself away from down air. Down tilt. Gonna give Eon the opportunity just to come back to the stage. A little scary with that down tilt coming out from Ludwig. Gonna go with another card dash there. Another dash stack to challenge it. Actually wins the situation there. Eon holding back with the lasers to boot. Now Mexicoba able to work a little bit with Warner here to catch up. Eon picking and choosing an opportunity to land. It's gonna get hit by that movie and gets back to the corner there. Down to Span from Eon. We got the licky licky finally connecting and killing on, on Eon right there. But Eon falling down with lasers, getting some extra percent from the other side of the stage. And Ketchup just barely missing his jabs to get some extra percent. All right, Eon back in action. Of course, that high ceiling from Kalos. Going to give Ketchup the opportunity to live a little bit longer. No out of shield option. Coming out great for Eon. He's able to parry, but he finds himself barely at that forward smash. The shield is oh. ever inching smaller here, but gets away with the dash attack. That was really interesting, too, because uh, Eon's shield was getting pelted by so many jabs, but it didn't seem like it was doing too much shield damage to it. So okay. I wonder if they nerfed the jab shield damage on, uh, on Bowser Oh, Jr. and he gets to confirm. Eon slowly working his way back into victory here. Lost engine closer to catch up side. Yeah, the catch up needs to stop landing so much with, with these aerials too. Throwing out these random hitboxes when uh when Eon's next to him. Eon has been doing really well at moving out, baiting out these hitboxes with shield up or just running away as soon as catch up is above him. And this has been netting him percent and stocks this whole set. Full jab, I like it. Inches away at the shield, not gonna be able to poke through. Of course, shield pokes are a little bit more prominent in this game. Now they're easily able to angle them. All right, a little bit too fast on the forward smash there. Gonna try to come back to center stage here, throwing out back airs and back airs. Good None patience. of them couldn't connect. Good patience from Eon, just playing the slow game. Now he has ketchup in his clutch, he doesn't have to really commit too much here. Oh, he was able to jump against the cannonball. I like it, even stalls himself with the shine. And that was very good recovery from Eon there. Not giving up on, on Fox. Just trying to make it back as as safely as possible. And nice. that up smash is going to be punished by down smash. Very disgusting angle on those land smashes. The out of shield option is immediately goes for up to instead. That side B going to be the equalizer here. Percents are even, but I'm sorry, stocks are even, but not percents. I know what Ketchup can do with comeback opportunities here. I know Eon's not going to let him. Not gonna want to let him have one. Yeah, Eon making it absolutely hard to hit him again. Just using, just facing his back towards Ketchup. That's yeah. pressure enough. You know that back air is, is waiting to come out. Yeah, the back air, the up tilt, the, the back hit linking up there. There it is, doesn't get the up smash confirmed. All forward air got him up the, the stage. Downer. I like it. Okay. Catch up immediately tries to go for the edge guard there on the platform. He knows those are a little bit easier to come back to and try to survive. Oh, up smash. Up smash. Too risky. Goes for the up throw up there. Not going to connect, but gets the F tilt. Mecha Koopa just barely missing on the uh, on the Fox Illusion. Couple of trades for Ketchup. Could be the opportunity to make the comeback here. I like it. Eon waits for that commitment from Ketchup. Okay. Gets with the Nair just to push Eon away from him. Ketchup trying to hold center stage once more, just holding that shield against that back air. Eon trying to get this stock as safely as possible. Oh wow, that barely missed his head. We're seeing a lot of shield standoffs coming out from Eon. Jab, jab. gonna push him back That's off stage. not gonna kill, but it puts Eon off the stage again. And, and the cannonball! Ball. Take! Whoa, he's Magic. still alive! He's still alive. Go back. Eon with an opportunity just to come back here. Surviving the down tilt. Eon looking for one chance here against Ketchup, as now Ketchup has a comeback in his clutches. All right, Mega Koopa once more goes out of the cannonball. There's a drill. Yeah. No oh up smash, no God. up there. Uh, picks up the Mega Koopa again, but gets reflected back. Ketchup trying to hold center stage ranks uh, once more. He has a kill throw with back throw. Just got to make sure that's that shield broke. This is the edge guard opportunity coming out here for Eon. He's, I like the patience, though. He's looking to see the commitment coming out from Ketchup. He's trying to buy himself down. He doesn't want to commit. He doesn't want to get hit by the side. View. He doesn't want to hit by anything from Ketchup. No! no! Dedicates to the dash attack, Woo! and that takes the stock. Oh! Oh! Eon, with a breath of relief, man, you could tell he won that by the sweat of his brow. Bro, all I eat, cheering for ketchup in that moment there. Eon just 
barely taking that. I'm surprised. I am legit surprised the cannonball didn't kill him. He was kissing the blast zone. Yeah. Right there. His I mean, 